Okay, part C, we're going to do the same thing. Your vertical asymptote will be to set the denominator equal to zero. Your horizontal asymptote will simply be this last number. So all you have to do is indicate that it's y equals four. X-intercept, we're going to hold off on that for a second because it requires a lot of work. But the y-intercept, you're just going to replace zero in for your x's. So it would be two over zero plus one plus four, which is two over one plus four, which is six. So your y-intercept is at zero, six. Now your x-intercept is a little different. Since we have no numerator to set equal to zero, we have to set the whole thing equal to zero. So the first thing that you do is subtract four on both sides, and you're left with two over x plus one equals negative four. The next thing you're going to do is cross multiply, and you're left with four times x plus one equals two, and it's negative four. Next thing you want to do is distribute, and that gives you negative 4x minus 4 equals 2. The last thing you're going to do is just do a two-step equation, which is adding 4 on both sides and dividing by negative 4, leaving you with an x-intercept of 3 over negative 2, which means that you are crossing the x-axis at 3 over negative 2. So now the first thing you want to do is your asymptotes. So we have asymptote at negative one and four. Then you want to put in your intercepts. So negative three over two is in between negative one and two. And then we also have it at zero six, which is up here. Now that's really pretty much enough basic information that you need to plot it. You can go to your calculator and get more points, but that's pretty much enough points to graph it. Now all you need is the domain and the range. So the domain is always going to be negative infinity, and this is for part C, to the vertical asymptote and your range goes from negative infinity to the horizontal asymptote. And that's it.